so let's go ahead and review the Dorito Man strategy. Grab my black marker. So remember the Dorito Man strategy with multiplication right here says that you need to first look at the signs of the numbers in the problem. So this first problem says positive three times, remember this means multiplication, negative 12. So if I look at the Dorito Man over here, I need to cover up the positive symbol and the negative symbol, like this. Okay, so if I cover that up, what's left? It's a negative, that means my answer is negative. And what's 3 times 12? 36. Alright, so on the second one here, again we have multiplication, and we have a negative times a negative. Let's go back to our triangle. If we cover up both negatives, you end up with a positive. So my answer is going to be positive, the product of 8 and 7, which is 56. And then the last one, we have a negative 15 times a positive 2. So that's a negative times a positive. Go over here, you got a negative and a positive, cover those up. What's left? A negative, right there. So our answer is negative 15 times 2. So that's 30. The answer is negative 30. Alright, so division, remember, we can still use the same strategy. So here, we've got 25 divided by, remember that slash, it's the same thing as division, negative 25 divided by negative 5. Let's grab a different color here. So we've got negative divided by a negative. So go back to the triangle, cover up both of these negatives, and we're left with positive. 25 divided by 5 is 5, so our answer is positive 5. Second one is positive 48 divided by negative 6. So we've got a positive and a negative. So if we cover up the positive and the negative here in the Dorito Man, we're left with a negative. So our answer is negative, the quotient of 48 and 6, which is 8. And then the last one, we've got negative 24, so this is a negative, divided by, so I actually wrote this as a fraction just, just to show that even though it's a fraction, a fraction is really just a division problem. So this is the quotient of negative 24 and positive 3. So we've got a negative and a positive. Cover them up, got a negative. 24 divided by 3 is 8, so that's also negative 8. Alright, and that's it.